You know what it is, man. DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano. Bridge to the streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the street. Right here on thisis50.com. We live from One World Studio. Shout out, boy, one. You know how we do. Special guests in the building. Introduce yourself. So, I'm Brady Bunch. Uh, some people know me by my nicknames. Uh, Shady Brady or Lady Brady. Okay. Uh, but I'm a non-binary artist. Uh, you know, when I'm on the mic, I basically use all pronouns, right? Okay. Uh, though, uh, in my real life, you know, lately I've been using the they and thems, which okay. I know might trigger some people, but uh, right. I'm hoping after, you know, more people get to know me, I see that it's really nothing too crazy and, uh, you know, the world's changing. Right. Yeah, that it is. So, the Brady, Brady Bunch, are you, were, you, were you a cast member on the Brady Bunch, somebody uh, in your family? What, what's going on with that title? So, so <laughs> to tell you the truth... Uh, That's one of my favorite shows, by the way. Yeah, you know what kills me? Uh, I bring it up to like kids these days and some of them are like, wait, what? Yeah. So, so I have to often reference uh, Tom Brady these days. Uh, but to tell you the truth, uh, my last name is Brady. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, and uh, I kind of, how do I put this? I was always proud of my name. Right. Uh, growing up, I was an athlete, and as crazy as it sounds, we had painted on the back of uh, the minivan I used to drive. Uh, the Brady Bunch had set on it with a soccer ball. Right. Um, but to tell you the truth, when I started getting into music, I was like, yo, I need something to make me stand out, some type of unique name. Right. And being inspired by people like Eminem when I was growing up, you know, he kind of changed the spelling of something that right. sounds like Eminem, Eminem right. relates to his name. Right. So he helped inspire that. Um, and another thing is I lost my, my pops last year. Oh uh, man, sorry to hear that. Yeah, so that's where I got the Brady from. Okay. Uh, he was a best friend, I'm missing him, but uh, I told my dad I was gonna make our, our name famous one right. day. So what, this is one of the ways wait, to do wait, it. You know, I, was, I was checking out your IG account. You have, you have pretty much close to a million followers. So you have a, you have a um, you have a huge following. The um, the fuck them label. Yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, six nine that six nine was on that label and Trippy Red, and you just you were you're still signed to them or what's the what's your situation so, with fuck them label? So here's the deal. Because uh, I read where you 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 debut higher than six nine and Trippy Red for for the debut artists for that label. So I'm pretty sure those that's the stats, right? Mm -hmm. And to tell you the truth. I know uh, certain artists, you bring up their name, so I'm not trying to get canceled, people. Uh, but I would say that I studied 6 9 okay. uh, And I was so impressed by his marketing, in a way, right. creating this hype. Uh, not gonna say other things, right? But like, he was one of those artists that I basically saw like a blueprint for. Um, so to go back, I started hitting up Yaksha years ago when I was not good enough to be hitting up Yaksha yet, right? right? But I'd see occasionally he'd be on red, uh, leave me on red and whatnot. I was hitting up his, people in his circle. Uh, but then I noticed when I started like sharing some things that were much better, right? I started getting uh, a lot more attention from people. There were points where like I had some people in the Kardashian circle voting on my Insta stories, which was crazy. Right. I was like, yo, this is getting serious. So I hit up Yaksha and I basically told him, I was like, listen, you help these rappers like almost take over the world. I was like, but six nine, you know, he's in his own whatever. I was like, listen, I'm I'm different. There's no one out there like me. Right. And I, I basically told him I could help make your label. I'm hoping uh, worldwide famous again, right, right? right? And guess what? He told me he was like, listen, I'm gonna keep it real. I haven't heard all your stuff, but your energy is like addicting, and I love it. Uh, and we just like clicked. Right. And so he made a deal with me. I don't want to say too much. Uh, how do I put this? He's helping me. We've made a deal where basically it's his, his label, his channel. That's where I'm going to be dropping all my hip hop videos. Right. Okay. And uh, I don't want to say what was offered both ways, right? Because right? I'm afraid some people might get upset. Basically, you're rich now. <laughs> well, the goal is this. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, because, you know, I don't want anyone uh, to yeah. come for me, right? I right. ain't rich, right? I'm, I'm, and I'm not Yeah, you get it. But the goal is, right. guess what? I want to buy my mom a house. You want to buy your mother a house. So, like, if Yaksha right. could help me do it, or someone else, whether right. it's a 
50, I don't know, <laughs> like right. anyone. Now, now, now I also <laughs> read about, obviously, um, um, transgender, correct? Yeah, so I'm actually what's considered non-binary and okay. trans, which mm -hmm. confuses people. Okay, what's the difference? The people that don't know. All right, so here's the truth, I'm gonna be honest. I get confused myself sometimes, and okay. part of the reason I start rapping, um, like I'm kind of against cancel culture a okay. bit. Uh, now clearly I've had some people, I've, I've had some people try to kill me for who I am, I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. Been spit on walking down the street, mm. uh, especially with this voice. Right. I used to use a different voice, the voice training. Uh, but what came about, this is like, in a way, me rebelling. It's almost like, hey, I don't wanna feel like I'm acting. I wanna be authentically me. Uh, but ever since I was a little kid, like, I used to go to bed. And I would cry myself to sleep, because here's the truth, I hated my body. I was like four years old. So, a lot of people don't believe this stuff, including my mom who I love. She used to be like, there were no signs. But when my dad passed, guess what? We found all these videos of me at like four and five and there were signs. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I'm happy that I experienced life the way I did because right. uh, let me put, I'm divorced, for example. Uh, and like, I don't like labels, but I was married to a, a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's the truth, like, even people who are really like, so for, I hate labels so much, she didn't, she was mainly attracted to men, right? And I got some swag, uh, but imagine suddenly people were calling her like a dyke and all that, and like, I'd say it was society that helped split us up. Right. I've almost been canceled by little Nas X fans. Yeah, I want to talk about right? that. And, and I'm gonna say too, <laughs> tr the trans community comes for me all the time, like, for ridiculous stuff and it's just like I would I thought I would think they would be supportive of it. So listen, like that's this is what really stinks. There's a lot of people out there with a lot of money. You got people like RuPaul, I'm not trans, but she has that whole army of like promotional money, right? You got Janet Mock and those people. Mm -hmm. Here's the truth. I don't fit the mold. Uh I'm different. Okay. I'm not that thing that you hear about the agenda, the gay agenda sometimes. It's a little ridiculous, but there's something to what's out there in the media. And like someone like Dave Chappelle, uh, I may not agree with all that he said, but guess what? Um, this is America. If you were to sit down with me and we were to BS, I'm sure that both of us would walk away learning things. Uh, but I believe in the freedom of speech. And part of my story is like, I would never want someone to try to censor me for my voice. Um, I'm sorry, going on tangents. But you were asking, going back to like Lil Nas X. I see that you challenged him to a fight. Yeah, I would like. What, what, why? All right, so here's the truth. I grew up looking for role models, right? Right. Um, and there weren't any. Now I've heard a lot of stories. Uh, my opinion, I won't blow up anyone's spots, but like, there's a lot more people who are bi or would be attracted to someone like me than would like to confess. The world's changing a bit, but it's always been that way. I grew up like trans people. The only place you saw them was like Jerry Springer, right? Is it right. a man or a woman? Like all that stuff, right? So Lil Nas X comes along, and he's talking about being all independent, right? He drops... Now, I respect what he's done for the queer community, don't get me wrong. But he ends up dropping that, that song, I don't even think about it, that, you know, the cowboy song. Kind of cheats the system a bit, drops it the wrong way, teams up with the Cyruses. Wait, we're gonna claim he's independent still? And he's got that Cyrus money behind him? Right. And here's the truth. He was in the closet. So, like, the thing that kills me is, like, I understand how scary it could be for some people to come out of the closet, but I've been open since I started in this game. There's people like Caswell out there, a queer rapper who's been rapping for so long. I mean, there's all these people. Right. And like people like Billie Eilish, they're still listing her as like being indie. Come on, right? right. So people like me, we're making noise out there by ourselves. And like someone like Lil Nas X, I think he kind of likes to play victim a bit. Right. Um, and just to say it, like some, going back to someone like 6 9 or like the WAC 100 interview, I'm seeing like, yo, there's people like taking on real boxers, making lots of money. So here's the truth. I also want people to know that like I'm legit no wuss, right? And like, so someone like Lil Nas X right now, I hear, oh, he's the greatest queer rapper. Yeah, the baby <laughs> almost get canceled, right? right? They're posting stuff how more people are listening to the beat, uh, to. Lil Nas X and the baby, in my opinion, that's mainly about promotional money. And like, yo, the baby is still one of the best in the game, and I'm all about restorative justice. Right. Um, 
So Lil Nas X, like his fans have tried to cancel me a lot. Uh, I get literally have received violations on accounts because of it. Right. And it's literally like I wasn't even doing that much, but like some of this younger generation is just like they follow the leader. They follow. Right. I'm gonna shut up. I want to ask you something. Isn't <laughs> yeah. that hypocritical though for someone to cancel for say little Nas X fans or a little Nas whoever to try to come for you when they're supporting him being himself and you're being yeah. yourself? So it's like it's, it's hypocritical to even come at anybody that don't, don't look like you look or choose to a, you know a, a preference or whatever. Isn't that like the whole thing is is hypo, it's, it's a bunch of hypocrites that's, shit going on. That's literally it, and that's what infuriates me. And there's so much of that. Um, like, how do I put this too? I hope I don't come off the wrong way. But like, I've been through some stuff. Right. I'm not gonna talk about it, but I'm. Right. There's a legal situation out there that's public record involving me. Right. And I'm fighting for my rights. I'm not gonna say much more. But uh, like, yo, I'm a real activist too. Right. Like, I'm the type of person. If you guys want to Google me, you can find some news articles. Like, yo, I confront hate. I call people no, out. No, I see. You know, I read, I read, yeah. I read up on. That's how I saw the little Nas X stuff. Yeah, yeah, the little Nas X. Label they're, and they're treating him like he's a hero. You know, for what it's worth. I mean, that's a big deal. You debut higher than Triple Red, Trip, Trippy Red, excuse me, and Six Nine on the same label. That's that's a hell of an accomplishment, considering where they where they are and went in their career. So, what I want to know from you. Musically, like what type of music? Are you EDM, you do hip hop, you rap, you sing, you dance. Like what do you do exactly? You, in, you know, in, in that era. All right. Area, so, area, sorry. So to tell you the tr truth, there's like the producer side of me. Okay. That's got like, I have all these EDM tracks. So EDM, okay, you, do, uh, you produce EDM music. Yeah. To, okay, for clarification, EDM, okay. And what's really cool is uh, when that video went viral, I suddenly got hit up by all these like wannabe pop stars or some, pretty well-known names, some right. people who are failed pop stars are like, yo, I was thinking of trying out like house music. Right. So there's that, but here's the truth. What This is what disappoints me. I'm almost getting more respect right now for that stuff when the truth is it's the hip hop that's therapeutic. It's the hip hop. Yeah. Right. So you, you can you rhyme? So I can, yo, you can so rap, can you rap? I can rap. Now here, here's what stinks. <laughs> you, so you asked, uh, I think earlier you were like, oh, you've got a video people could see. So this is part of my strategy. Okay. I knew, I got some feedback a couple years back. It was right, but of course, you know, I had the, couldn't let certain people know, but some people, uh, you know, they gave me real feedback. And I was like, you know what? I gotta get better at this stuff, right? right. And then like, I'd say sometime last year, just the more I was in the studio and when I surrounded myself with other talent, I literally had, there's this one rapper, I'm not gonna say his name, I, I, you be good in court because you never say anybody's name. Yeah, and, yeah, and <laughs> guess I gotta be, be careful. You to do a crime with. He's like, I'm not gonna say his name. Yeah, <laughs> but like he he literally. So part, here's the truth. Uh, he helped coach me, got me on rhythm. Right. And like, literally turned me into what I am today. While also I feel like I showed him some things. Right. What sucks is some stuff went down within the last year. Right. Uh, it does involve actually legal stuff. That's why I am being a little hush hush. I got you. And I don't know which way he fell, uh, but imagine he was someone that like I thought the two of us would be coming to right. a place like this. And uh, unfortunately, my circle has kind of uh, it's gotten smaller. But the good thing is this: I realized a lot of them were snakes. Okay. A lot of them would tell me things like, "Oh, you should change your lyrics. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have that voice. Ah." Oh, th and what I realized was. Yo, part of the reason my music was sucking was I was listening to the wrong people. You wasn't being yourself. Wasn't being myself. Once right. I started being myself, once I started actually learning to produce, I started making some beats, I started finding the pockets. Right. Uh, here's the truth. What started getting me attention was I did a lot of teasers in my Insta stories, and that's where like people like Black China were voting on my stuff. Uh, uh, I had like all these label heads, some right. legends who like from big circles, uh, I've got, I actually have a bizarre feature, which I think is really bizarre. cool. <laughs> so, I, I from, can see that. From D12, right? That so, doesn't surprise me for some reason. Yeah, but. Because he's, he's, he's exactly what his name is. Yes. And bizarre. You, and you know what, like, we're actually working on. We had him up here too, by the way. Yeah, I, I love him, but here's the truth. I know he had some controversy with Tyler, the creator, but right. I love the fact that he's, he hopped on one of my beats he, and 
I'm gonna release it soon, but you but you should, you should. But I've been holding. I have a hundred tracks right now. Right. I'm gonna drop a video on Yaksha's channel coming up, like probably in the next couple of weeks. Right. All right. So. And and that is gonna be where you guys all start hearing right. about me. Right. What are some of the um, misconceptions people have about you? That, 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 like that that are not true. All right. So. How do I put this? Misconceptions about me. So I think. Well, first of all, a lot of people when they first meet me, they assume that like, oh, uh, I must be like the typical trans people they see out there, right? Oh, I, uh, I must have dated men my whole life, right? I all this and that. So I don't like putting labels on myself, but like, truthfully, like, you know, I, women, that's who I'm searching for. That's who I date. Um, okay. Though I've become more open-minded with as time has changed and all that stuff, you know, I never write off the idea of stuff, but uh, that's one misconception, right? So right. like, imagine I walk into a spot and uh, some people, before I talk, of course, right. right? And when I'm, you know, carrying myself the right way, right? Like, say I start a new job very early on, guess what? The dudes all run and hide, right? And then these girls come up to me and they want to be like my bestie, right? And then when I'm just honest and they've learned more of who I am, right? Uh, guess what? Like some of those girls, suddenly it's like, now I'm no longer a friend, right? And then suddenly these guys that would not talk to me, they want to treat me like a bro, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'd say like the big thing, the misconception is lots of people don't know people like me. They've right. got like the one story narrative out there. Right. Um, and when they get to know me, like I've had a lot of students tell me, uh, yo, I just want you to know, like I'm so happy I met you. You changed the way I look at all queer people. Right. Um, and you know, I know I've changed from being exposed to people that were very different from me. Right. Um, so that's one of the misconceptions. The other thing is this. Uh, so there's like the artist and then there's me. Right. Right? So like, yeah, uh, the artist could be, especially the rapper, very aggressive. Um, you know, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a good person. Right. Um, and here's the truth, I'm, I'm no bitch and a lot of what I rap about uh, is from reality or from my past or whatever. Uh, but. I think a lot of people, going back to that, they hear my lyrics, and I think they think it's like a joke, or right. like, so like, nah, I have to explain to some people, and the, what drives me insane is like, yo, there's a lot of people capping out there, right. who are rapping about things they've never had, doing things they've never done, um, so I'd say like, one of the misconceptions I get is like, people try to like, they've tried to like, laugh at me, or they hear some lyrics I use, and I, you know, no, clearly some of it's just, Art, right. right? But some of it's like legit, and I'm telling stories, and that's why going back, not the best freestyler, right? I hope to get there, but like I stopped releasing music on purpose, I'm waiting to drop to wow the world, right? Okay. Uh, so here's the truth I'm like, I do mean it. You guys want to hear a story going back to someone like Eminem? I think why people compare me to Eminem, I've got one hell of a story, I've been through some crap. You want to go listen to a rapper actually tell a story, get lyrical about crap they've actually been through? Well, you may want to listen to my upcoming stuff, right? You want to listen to the same cookie cutter crap? You want to be another A Boogie? I'm sorry, there's like a billion A Boogies out there. Sure, but right. that, that stuff's boring. And right. uh, another thing, I think a misconception, people think I'm a bit younger than I am. Uh, but I'm in my 30s. Right. So I grew up li listening to G Unit. I had a I had a crew in high school. We called ourselves C Unit. Right. <laughs> no right. joke, right? Uh, but misconceptions, like stuff like that. Uh, I get it. I got it. I got you. I got you. So if people like want to get in contact with you or follow you, if they choose to do so, how can they do that? Find me on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You could find me on other platforms, but my Instagram's my baby, right. uh, and that's where like. I was late to Instagram. And what's your Instagram? So, so it's B-R-A-Y-D-B-U-N-C-H. Right. So like Brady Bunch, right. but Y before the D and it's all one word, right? right. Um, I'm trying to build a TikTok, there's not much there. Uh, but I'd say Instagram, Instagram, I'm very responsive. I've gotten features, you guys will hear about some of these big name features right. I got. Uh, 
in the near future. I've gotten it straight through DMs, leaving comments. They have reached out to me. Right. Uh, I've had people like, a little upset about this one, Lotto, right? Mm -hmm. Right before the pandemic hit, her team was talking to me via email. We were about to drop a video. I took too long to get back. Yeah, right. And they went silent. So, oh, okay. so yeah, but I'm hoping she comes back. Let's, right. let's, I'm sure, I'm sure let's get some will. plaques. So, all right, so once again, I want to thank you for coming by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I appreciate um, it. All right, so anything else you want to cover before we go? Uh, just real quick, I'm going to be dropping uh, some B-sides, some demos, just to hype up, show you guys like the old crap, the glow up. Mm -hmm. Got a new video dropping probably before the end of the month. Maybe around the time my dad died, Christmas Eve. It's gonna be on Yox's right. channel. Uh, I think you guys will laugh because it's actually me being more comedic. Right. And I take some shots at Little Nas X too. Okay. Uh, and the video is like South Parky. But truthfully, uh, yo, this is just the beginning. Okay. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope you all follow me on Instagram, find my music, support me, and. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, all right. I'll see you. So that's what it is, man. DJ Thoreau, let him know the name again. Brady Bunch. Exactly. And like always, when you see us, when knee us. That means pay respects, <laughs> man. Yo. Yeah. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm on something. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That's what's up.